All right, today I want to start with a fun fact you might not have known about LEGO Star Wars. Did you know that the new LEGO Star Wars is being built in an entirely new engine? And that 2020 was the first year TT Games didn't release a LEGO game since 2005. What a run they were on. Firstly, because they were working on the new LEGO Star Wars and it's a bigger game than any other LEGO game. And secondly, because they've been working on building this new engine, which is called Entity, like spelt N-T-T, but like the word entity, which is supposed to be optimized and geared towards next gen consoles. Now building this new engine has taken a lot of TT Games resources and time, but to get it up and running, they've also enlisted the full help of TT Fusion, a smaller studio that's built into TT Games that usually focuses on the handheld versions of LEGO games. I feel like I've talked more about the new LEGO Star Wars than any other game in the past year or so, which is pretty funny because no one's even played it. But it makes sense, it's been talked about so much because of what it's promised to be. The greatest video game ever made. Well, the greatest LEGO game anyway. And you know what else I love? The TT Games and LEGO have decided to use Star Wars as the platform for building their largest LEGO game ever. I mean, sure, over the past 10, 15 years, each one of their games has taken development a step further, larger scale, better graphics, more immersive gameplay, yada yada, everyone does something bigger and better than the last, but it's with LEGO Star Wars, not with Harry Potter, not with Lord of the Rings, not with Marvel, not with anything else, with Star Wars that they're making this massive open world game with space travel, space combat, 23 planets, nine Star Wars eras, 800 characters, a new combat system, a new game engine, and so much more. And finally, with the news today, it seems like there's a clear path forward for when we'll actually be hearing more about the new game. Lego just made a massive announcement. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> for the first time ever, Lego are holding Lego Con, a 90 minute live stream on June 26th, direct from the Lego house in Denmark. This awesome place here. Amazing building. Wow. Want to go. The event promises to include live entertainment, world first reveals, behind the scenes access, and never tried before build attempts. First, there was Con Air, and now we have Con Lego. Lego Con. Now, this event is set right in the middle of the game announcement season. E3 takes place just a week or so beforehand. EA Play is in July this year, so it's just after this. So it seems like Lego are really stepping up their game and have some big announcements to make. And they want a platform to do that from, and they've decided to go with Lego Con. Now, we do know there are some new Lego Star Wars sets being released soon, which were just revealed in the Japanese Lego catalog. And these will likely be properly announced at this Lego Con event later this month, along with some Skywalker Saga news. And we'll hopefully also get some content from these LEGO sets in the Skywalker Saga, even if some of this content is coming out of the Clone Wars and the Mandalorian. We've got Boba Fett Slave 1 with an updated Boba Fett appearance from the Mandalorian and Din Djarin. Sure, we'll be able to fly Slave 1 in the new LEGO Star Wars, and we're also getting some Mandalorian characters and appearances in the game in the DLC character packs. There's the Jewel on Mandalore set with Ahsoka and Maul from Season 7 of the Clone Wars. This is an epic little set, but there's no Clone Wars content that's been announced for the new LEGO Star Wars just yet, but I'd be really surprised if we don't get at least something. I mean, you know, we know Ahsoka and Maul are going to be in the game. Hopefully they'll have their Clone Wars appearances. There's the Bad Batch shuttle with Hunter, Wrecker, Tech, Echo and Crosshair, and they're a little gonk droid. We already know there's going to be some Bad Batch content and appearances in the Skywalker Saga. And then we've also got the Imperial Troop Transport with Grief Cargo, a Mortar Stormtrooper and two regular Stormtroopers, Moff Gideon's Cruiser with Grogu, Din Djarin, Cara Dune, Fennec Shand, Moff Gideon, and the Dark Trooper. A lot more Mandalorian content here. There's a Mandalorian Starfighter with Gar Saxon, Bo Katan, and a Mandalorian Loyalist. There's an Ultimate Collector Series ATAT, and we also got a brief look at the 2021 LEGO Advent Calendar with a Stormtrooper, a Scout Trooper, and a Tusken Raider, IG 11, Din Djarin, and Grogu. Now, it's unconfirmed if any of these sets will have codes which allow us to unlock the vehicles in the Skywalker Saga just yet, but we have to think some of them will definitely cross over with the game and you'll definitely be able to play as a lot of these characters in the game. So what about the Skywalker Saga itself and LEGO Con? How are they related and what news are we going to hear? Well, the people over at LEGO are teasing they're going to have some big announcements for Star Wars and that's about all they've said. But you have to think, if we don't end up hearing about the new LEGO Star Wars at E3 in a few weeks, then surely it will be at LEGO Con. Surely we're going to get an actual release date 
and then also some new gameplay, new gameplay details, confirmed characters, and maybe even a short walkthrough of the open world. This is the big draw card of the new LEGO Star Wars, the fact the entire game is open world with all the planets from the Skywalk films, and a lot of gameplay and events you'll see unfold before your eyes in the open world. However, the game does still have five linear story missions for each Skywalk film, which is more in keeping more traditional to what the original LEGO games have done previously. Picture it like this, you're playing LEGO Star Wars A Complete Saga, and from the cantina you can enter any of the game's story missions across any film in any order. However, the cantina is the size of the galaxy. That's the concept of the Skywalker Saga. So the LEGO Con will also feature reveals for a lot of LEGO's other sets and franchises. There's LEGO City, LEGO Dots, LEGO Friends, LEGO Harry Potter, LEGO Ideas, LEGO Minecraft, LEGO Ninjago, LEGO Super Mario, LEGO Technic, and LEGO Video. So lots of LEGO products involved, but hopefully Star Wars is a leading force in this event and we learn lots more. New LEGO Star Wars can't be too far away now. So what do you think this big news will be? What do you think we'll be learning about the new LEGO Star Wars over the next few weeks? Let me know in the comments. And for more LEGO Star Wars, you can watch one of these videos here and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join my Discord for lots more Star Wars gaming, news updates, content, and everything else. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Stay bombastic.